Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Langmuir Crossfire Pro cutting table. And I'm going to let this play out. I've time lapsed the entire build of the table, except with the exception of doing some cable management and some of the few final touches of just adding the torch into the deal. Uh, but you guys will get to see and kind of get a good idea, a reference point of how long this would take. Now, this took me about a week of working evenings amongst my regular day job of uh, being a full-time blacksmith uh, to actually get assembled and put together. Part of that reason being is the <laughs> thousand bolts and little tiny fittings and things like that figuring out where all of this goes, um, which brings me to one of my first little complaints I would have against Langmuir Systems. They need to do a better job of showing exploded diagrams of how things go in relation. Now, that is just my opinion. They can take it or leave it for what they will, but I spent a lot of time just trying to figure out the relationships between different parts like you'll see on this frame here when i'm building this together um, i actually got the legs put on the wrong direction because there wasn't a really good exploded diagram showing the relation of the relationship of these legs to one another um, and they are semi-critical in order for the future steps to work out right because there's some bolt holes and some screw holes that have to line up and they can only go one way so that's kind of like the first little negative or downside. Now, one of the biggest positives to this, as you've seen in a lot of different review videos of this table online, is the fact of how cheap these CNC tables are and the barrier to entry cost is very low. So, you know, you're going to kind of you're going to win some and lose some in this department, in my opinion, because as things get cheaper, the company that's selling the thing is going to do less and less work and allow you to do more and more of that labor or put in your sweat equity uh, in order to keep costs low. So not a real big fault on their part on the exploded diagrams, but it would make it hugely easier for someone who's a visual learner um, to be able to see the relationships. You know, I'm very mechanically inclined, but, but to just get just to be able to have the exploded diagrams would be a huge help to a lot of people. So here we go. We're just building all this together. As you can see, the table goes together all right. It goes together pretty quick. But again, you have about a thousand little components that you have to preassemble. That would be one of my other, I guess you would say, gripes with the build is how much actual assembly you have to do of every single little fitting. Um, some of this work could have already been pre-done or could have had some of this pre-assembly done for you right out the box, and it would make the user build experience a little smoother um, than what it is right here. But as you can tell, as you can tell, like I said before, this is a cheap cutting system. It's a cheap option for you to get in. Now, let me not fool you into thinking that cheap means uh, low quality. This table is a very high quality bed in my opinion. Everything seems to be really well made. All the fittings and things, they all fit. And to Langmuir's credit, out of the thousand or so bolts that were in there, and I'm saying a thousand, I don't know if there's a thousand bolts, but out of the thousand bolts, they had every one like they should have. So th there wasn't anything amiss. I wasn't lacking anything or missing anything. Um, so that's a huge win. That shows a company that's actually caring enough about their product to make sure that everything is uh, just as it should be. Dress right dress. Now we come to the water bed or the water table portion of this. After you get your frame built, you're going to assemble your, you know, your water table, if you will. And this is one of those areas that I think that they should have had a little extra spend and just made a table, made a waterbed that is fully assembled. So there's no seam down the center. My seam has actually already started leaking on the bed itself. It's already started leaking and I've had to put a, a catch bucket underneath it 
um, until I can tear it apart and re-put it back together or end up welding this seam closed at some point in time. Um, again, it really would have been that much more cost for them to upsize the box and not ship something that's going to hold water or expected to hold water in two halves. It could have been one solid broken up, um, you know, basically one solid assembled water pan. Uh, and again, you kind of get what you pay for here. Now, the Crossfire Pro, I basically maxed out my entire order uh, with all the expense that I could get, except for the plasma cutter. I didn't get their razor weld because to me that was a little bit underpowered for my applications. So I ended up spending a lot more money by buying a Hypertherm Power Max 65. That is certainly not everybody's plasma cutter, as this has been like. This has been a plasma cutter I've been needing in the shop for a long time, so it kind of it made sense for me. And again, I'm doing this for a living, so the plasma cutter just made sense for the purchase price. But the plasma cutter was actually more than the bed at about four thousand dollars, about forty two hundred dollars for the plasma cutter itself. The, the bed itself was only like twenty seven hundred or twenty nine hundred, I think it was, um, after I added all the other additional upgrades which I would highly suggest that you don't skimp, even though it's modular, the Z-axis control and all these other things, the torch height control and all that other stuff has really made cutting since doing this a breeze. So I can really highly suggest that. You'll definitely want to take and get the additional add-ons of the waterbed and things like that. So as you can see, the things start to become more and more complete. Uh, it really wasn't too bad of a build, and you have to understand that I am a blacksmith first and foremost. I am not a techie guy. Um, I try to learn as much as I can, so you know some of this stuff that I struggle with might not even be an issue for you. Uh, you know, you may just whip it together, you know, lickety split. Or if you have the regular Crossfire model, I don't have to tell you that the Crossfire Pro is probably going to be excellent for you. Um, and you already know what to expect when it comes to the build thing. Now, I've been asked a bunch of times, how long did it take me to get the Crossfire in? And it took me about five months, four and a half to five months before I had the final package into the shop. And, um, and that would be probably my last little gripe with this review um, on that is the way that they choose to ship things is in five or six different boxes, and then they don't ship you those things in the order in which you can set stuff up. Like they sent the electronics and hardware all in one box, and then they shipped all the frame pieces in another box. That means I couldn't build the frame until I had all the electronics in so I could have my hardware box. They should have shipped the hardware for the frame in the box that would have been hugely helpful for me because then I could have built the frame in one stage, I could have built the waterbed in a second stage, and then I could have added all the electronics maybe in a third stage. Um, that would have made a little bit more sense to me, but again, it's their company, their rules. They can do what they like. So as you can see here, as I'm cutting along, um, you know, it works really, really well. And uh, at this point of filming this actual video, it's been a couple months now that I've had the Langmuir systems in my shop. I did not know how to draw up things in Fusion 360 or to generate uh, nesting type things. So what you're seeing me do here is I'm using the uh, Crossfire Pro's fire control software to manual nest or jog the piece over and continue to cut parts. Uh, this is a lot slower <laughs> than actually having a nested, um, a, a nested deal. So, so keep this in mind. This is an actual run speed. This is just Roy being a buffoon and not knowing how to do technology. <laughs> so, so overall, let me give you kind of my final thoughts and opinions of this. The build, it went smoothly. Again, don't think you're going to knock this out in an evening. It's going to take you several evenings after work or maybe weekends, call a buddy, call a friend type thing. It will take you that, that long to put it together just because of all the little fidgety bits to get right. 
And I would say overall, this is a massively great purchase. It's a great purchase for me and what I'm wanting to do. As you can see, I'm cutting out some ladle blanks and things like this. It will help me in my work and hopefully help some other blacksmiths out once I start cutting tooling um, for this as well. I am selling these ladle blanks and skillet blanks and spatula blanks and things like that over at my website, blacksmithpbs.com, if you're interested. In. Um, and I'll have some actual videos of me making these things in the future here on the channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button. But yeah, so final thoughts. Like I said, it's a good system. It's not perfect, but then again, it's not $7,000. You know, you don't have to spend, you know, seven, eight grand on this system. Um, and then, you know, everything be worked out perfect for you. Uh, so keep that in mind if you are going to purchase it. I think it's very worthwhile. And I also do believe that it is worth the upgrade to get the hypertherm because this thing cuts like a dream. I can't speak to the razor weld because I don't have that plasma cutter. Um, but to me, that seemed a little bit on the janky side. If you have some information on that, and some of you out there maybe do, uh, how well that actual plasma cutter works then uh, drop it down in the comment section down below. As far for me, as far as I'm concerned, you really can't beat Hypertherm. There are like the uh, Cadillac of uh, plasma cutters, if you will. So yeah, so that's basically my, that's my thoughts. I think it's a great machine. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for the Langmuir cutting systems, Crossfire Pro table, so you can go read up on it yourself. And... That'll be about it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless you, and we will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.